Ouija Shark 2, also known as Ouija Shark vs. Tarot Gator, is a 2023 creature feature from Wild Eye Releasing and Survival Zombie Films that sees a giant ghost shark fight a giant alligator familiar. A man is in hell hunting after the Ouija Shark. His family is able to get him out of hell, Ouija Shark and its master come to earth, and then a giant ghost shark vs. alligator fight in a cityscape ensues. I'll be honest, even though the original's premise seems right up my alley, the trailer and reviews made it seem not like my type of movie, so I did not watch it. The trailer for Ouija Shark 2 definitely did seem like something I'd be into. For any other newcomers to the series, there is a recap of the original via voiceover and stock footage contained within a crystal ball at the beginning of this movie. Much more imaginative than just having it play full screen. There's also some charming monkey wrenches thrown in here, sunglass wearing hell apes, bikini hell girl musical numbers, a cameo from Troma's Lloyd Kaufman, and a fun end credit song. Giant ghost shark in city is a lot of fun, even a Rita Repulsa reference as it grows. Not sure if it had powers in the first movie, but here Ouija Shark shoots fireballs quite frequently and sometimes shoots lightning out of its eyes. Tarot Gator has a sort of Godzilla-like mouth beam. Ouija Shark is able to swap from fireballs to flamethrower breath for a quick beam struggle. Sadly, there's no actual resolution on screen or through dialogue on how their battle ended. There's a lot of computer effects, and for the most part, they're better than I expected. Not great, but yeah, better than expected. Clunky dialogue and deliveries. I did enjoy Simon Wielden as the evil Caldera though. Cheesy, but charming. Kylie Go as Ileana also has some charm too, though acting not as fluid. Lengthy back and forth scenes are further hurt by the editing. It'll be two shots that just switch back and forth depending on who is talking, and there's always a noticeable pause before the next person starts their lines. And to be clear, most of the scenes up until the final act are one-on-ones with this type of editing. Terrible green screen fake running, but that is nothing compared to the fake people stumbling around shots. Multiple city civilian scenes are just two or three people we will never see again, which is fine, but just in front of a black void with some CG smoke floating around. Just odd. I didn't hate watching uh, Ouija Shark 2. If you really want to see Ghost Shark vs. Gator familiar. This is probably the only place you're gonna see that. Happy Shark Week! Thanks for watching.